Okay, let's hear now from our race winner of today's 33rd in. annual Drive to Stop Diabetes 300 NASCAR Xfinity Series race here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Our race winner leading wire to wire is Joey Logano. He drives the number 22 discount tire Ford for Team Penske. He's joined by Crew Chief Greg Irwin. Uh, Joey, congratulations. You set a uh, Bristol uh, Motor Speedway Xfinity record here today. No driver in the history of the series has ever led every lap at this racetrack. So congratulations on that. That's and cool. uh, another perfect driver rating for you, a 150.0. Uh, I believe you have one at Phoenix this year as well. So congratulations on that. Those aren't easy to come by. Uh, talk about your run out here today and how you thought uh, you were able to, to really just uh, blow the field away. Well, uh, Greg Irwin, I guess. It's um, you not know, often you get a car that's, that's, that's that good. Um, in practice, I thought we were okay. Um, and last night, <laughs> we were talking about it. And he's like, how, what do you think? How do, how do we stack up? And I said, ah, I think we're just okay. I don't think we're, we're great. Um, you know, I felt like if everything went right, we'd have a shot at winning the race. But um, I did not think we were going to have a car like that. So overnight adjustments made it a lot better. Um, and maybe I was just asking for the world. Um, it, but apparently it worked out. So, uh, you know, not very often you get a, a car that, that's that fast. And um, when you have a car like that, you just, uh, you know, the whole race, you're just hoping something doesn't go wrong. You're looking for the checkered flag because uh, it's pretty neat to, to say you've led every single lap. That's actually... A, pretty neat little thing it, i've never done that before in my career and i don't think in like any kind of race car so uh that's pretty cool to do today greg Irwin, just talk about the the car you know did you did you know when you when you started uh here yesterday that it was going to be this good no uh we didn't we um you know the the hard part is no what we have is uh, a couple races with with Ryan last year, and then in 2013, a couple races with Brad. So, again, knowing how Joey was going to adapt to to the baseline that we have as the 22 program uh, was sort of a question mark. Um, but but so far, uh, between Phoenix and and here and and Atlanta, uh, obviously uh, we're doing the right things uh, for him. So, um, you know, I can't really. It's it, they build such nice equipment at, at Penske Racing, and 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 our people in particular, our you know our road crew and our shop crew, and uh, I I, can't, I gotta thank them because you know the things have been rocket ships off the truck, and uh, you know Andrea there as the the team engineer, she she puts in just an amazing amount of effort into trying to keep records straight for all three of these drivers, and keep me informed of the information I need to make you know the decisions and. Uh, it was a uh, honestly we were <laughs> we were up pretty late last night trying to get this thing sorted out in the early morning so it uh, it feels good for it to all kind of culminate in an effort like this and this guy's this guy's unreal. <laughs> yeah. Questions now for Joey or Greg. If you have one, we'll start right here. Aaron Burns, National Speed Sport News. First of all, congratulations to you guys on your victory, Joey. I'm just curious. You had Kevin behind you for the first half of the race. Did you ever feel like he had something for you guys if he was able to get back up there? Uh, I did, for sure. Um, I actually think his car was faster um, when when we had clean racetrack. He was able to run the wall really well, which is something that I think he's really good at as a driver also, um, that he's just able to go up there and be aggressive and be able to uh, make lap time. And we saw that uh, in cut practice earlier today. Um, but it didn't seem like he can come off the wall and have any speed. So uh, in this Xfinity series, there's, there's a lot of cars that are that are um, that you're lapping uh, fairly quick into a run, um, and that's when we were able to start legging him. Um, you know, at one point I, I went up there and I was trying really hard and about crashed our car, uh, and then after that, we, you know, be able to just um, kind of pull back away through traffic. And you know, it's not very often as the leader of a race do you hope there's lap traffic coming to you. And uh, today was one of those days. It's just because our car was just able to move around the racetrack really well, and that was something that paid off. Right here, Mike Embry. Raise your hand, Mike. We'll get you the wireless. Mike Embry, USA Today. Uh, Joey, lots of guys dominate races and win them, but it's rare to, to lead every lap. After about the halfway point or so, did you kind of have that in the back of your head that, hey, this, this could really happen all the way? I was, um, I was sitting there thinking, and I was like, I think we've led every lap so far, but I'm not sure. And I, was, and I thought, man, it'd be pretty cool if we did that. <laughs> and 
and then under the red flag, you got, you know, uh, Michael Waltrip and Jeff Gordon in your ear telling you about it. And I was like, oh, all right. So, um, you know, uh, at that point, you know, you just don't want to, you know, it's obviously winning the race is the ultimate goal no matter what. Um, but you, you also don't want to let anyone buy for half a lap because you want to be able to say you've led every lap. And that's something pretty cool to be able to say. Um, so I, I ran pretty hard uh, pretty much the whole race just trying to um, – trying to achieve the goal of, of leading every lap and uh and ultimately the last one the last thing i wanted to do is lead everyone but the last one that would be the a completely different interview in here right now <laughs> so that's uh it is a special day uh for for sure and um you know it seems like every time i've gotten this discount tire forward this year it's been remarkable um so um i gotta try to run more races i gotta try taking more from brad and blaney i don't know how i'm gonna do that <laughs> Other questions? Stan? Stan Creekmore with RPM tonight. Joey, would, was there any adaptation at the very first start of the race given that you had practiced twice in, in the Sprint Cup car? Yeah, you know, you, you get an idea. It, as a Sprint Cup driver, having happy hour right before the race, and as quick as this track was changing, is a substantial advantage for the first 20 laps uh, and I think everyone kind of figures it out and is what it is but y you get to run a whole practice and see where the tracks go and see where the, you know as a driver how different you have to drive to make speed up against the wall compared to uh, the bottom where we pretty much practice the whole time uh, so if you didn't have the opportunity to go up there this this you know the the cup guys have an advantage for that reason um but it seems like you know after a few laps you know everyone kind of figures it out and then you know it is what it is and um you know we weren't just like everyone else we weren't able to practice our xfinity car up in that groove uh so you're still kind of you know wishy-washy on which way your car is going to go and what's going to happen um but as a driver you can you know what to expect what the grip level is going to be up there and uh maybe move up there a little bit sooner than other drivers Any additional questions? We're good to go. Congratulations on a very, very impressive performance today by the number 22 discount tire Ford. Congratulations, Joy. Congratulations, Greg. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Joy, good luck tomorrow.